Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another toy review and today this fantastic character. Although I don't know if it's going to be better than Earthrise, from what I've seen in all the reviews I watch, I think she will be. And she's a different mold. Um, the one thing is the gun. A lot of people are saying it's the same gun and I'm not seeing it in the review. I'm like, no, they look different. So I'll be able to do my own comparison. Uh, but I was really excited to get this. Uh, this isn't a new figure. Like it's been out for a couple uh, couple of months. Um, and in Canada, I, it, it's been sitting at the JC Collectible, my sponsor, for a while. I just haven't had the time to pick it up. I waited for the rest of the uh, legacy figures to arrive. Uh, so yeah, very excited to have uh, this gal. And uh, so now I'll, I have an extra RC, so maybe I'll uh, sell some toys. I don't know. But she's toy axe and everything, so uh, we'll see. So uh, check that out. Um, I mentioned my sponsor. Make sure you stick to the end of the video to get the 10% uh, discount code for the store for uh, anything Transformers. And also check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'll do till I'm 90. And now let's roll the intro. such a badass I love RC and that's why I was expecting something maybe a little more perfect from this mold anyway let's go ahead I'll show you what I like and don't like you get the box and then inside the box you have now that they include uh, because now it's a uh, windowless packaging you get two dioramas one that they pierce in holes to pin the figure down and then you have this one which is the uh, scene from the movie where Perceptor tell them of their impending doom. I'm not gonna use that, but it's nice to have. The box itself, great artwork, Studio Series 86, product shot, you know, and this pose, she's back heavy, so it's, she's actually a little hard to pose. But standard box from Studio Series. Instructions, pause. When you need it. They're pretty good. Figure itself. First thing is I'm gonna do and compare her gun. I don't know why, but I've seen a lot of people saying it's the same gun, it's the same gun. I'm not seeing the same thing. I mean it is bigger. It's molded differently. I mean it's it's the same, you know, like this indenture is here. Uh, you have a pin here, you have a pin here, but it's different. The handle is different. Uh, under the gun is different. There's a, a trigger hole here. I don't know, I'm not a gun expert, so. And here it's just one trigger loose with no uh, protector or whatever you call it. So it's a very different gun and I like this one here much better. It looks more futuristic, it looks more uh, it looks like a gun. This looks like something Barbie would have. And RC herself, okay. I'm gonna show you the one thing that really pisses me off because I'm not a customizer, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fix it, but her, I'm gonna use my fine point. I don't know if it's gonna show well on camera, but if I get her close enough. You see here, the red, it should go over here where there's a, a little uh, bump where her lips are actually are. And they painted it under. So from this distance, you don't see it. From this distance, it's like she put makeup on her chin. That's basically what it is. And uh, I'm pretty sure that any woman would tell you that that's really hard to do. That's really my only thing is that I'd have to wash that red and paint over and then find a brush and paint it's i don't know i have a friend who paints i'm gonna ask him if he can you know fix her makeup which is gonna be an odd request for somebody who doesn't collect transformers anyway i like the the head sculpt um let's bring in the earthrise rc just so that we can do a proper comparison 
Shh, very different head, that's called. It's still RC. Uh, this one is toy hack, so don't think that they added uh, a lot of paint. But she only had blue eyes, and I actually... Uh, I think I might fit, be able to fix the lips now. I think I have an extra lip decal. Could plug that in. Anyway, the chest is different. The arms are different. There's no parts that are being reused. Uh, she has completely, uh, you know, feminine arm. She has the plates, which I didn't mind. The hands are different. Uh, the hip, square, more round. Um, the tie, uh, these are thinner. And, you know, different uh, molding details. Uh, this is a double jointed knee. Uh, this is a single jointed but very good very good knee uh i you know very feminine uh, legs uh, also feminine but a little more robust with you know shin guards and then the feet she has those extra freaking heels and she has that extra peg for balance and you know what it's i don't think it really helps so but i like uh, the detail on the uh, the paint on the so, completely different mold in the backpack. This is large, this is a little thinner. Like, I think they folded it better, so. Yeah, let's, uh, let's leave her here. You know, they all have the same problem. They don't freaking stand because of that backpack. All right, articulation. You get a rotation at the arm. You have ratchets in the elbow for a more than 90 degrees. Nothing at the hand, there's no rotation, the arm either, you have a rotation here at the upper shoulder. Uh, you have a waist rotation, you have a good ab crunch because of transformation. Uh, you have a rotation at the leg, uh, you have, uh, whoops, sorry, kick up, kick backward, kibble kind of gets in the way, you have a very good knee bend, you have a very good toe up back and forth but you don't oh I'm mistaken there's an absolute toe tilt all right so come on come on girl stay clip uh, the head will rotate it's a little hard and, uh, but it's she's tight because also the the head does this so you can actually have her look down on Daniel and say hey you're an idiot um I think that's pretty much it for articulation so she but she also is back heavy so there's stuff I like more about her there's stuff I like more about her overall I think she's the better representation but I think she has like that glossy pink she has more of a, that flat pink maybe the this paint was a little better than this it you know it's it's all up to taste but they're completely different molds and I can't decide which one. Oh, well, I know. In robot, in car mode, I like this one better. So we'll show you right now. Uh, well, no, actually, I'll show you some size comparison. So let's remove Earthrise RC. Put Studio Series 86 RC over there. Let's compare her with Siege Springer. And to me, that's the couple. I know in Headmaster, she uh, went around a bit. But I like this uh, this idea that they're together still. Bossbot Rodimus Prime and Funko Pop Unicron, who's too big for this shot. And now let's do the transformation. All right, so what you want to do is pull the head and this whole thing forward and then flip her back and clip this here like this and we're done. You can see I still have a little tabbing issue here there you go so very undignified position for a lady um, it's it's pretty terrible and they didn't even include a cover for the back I mean that's just her bottle right there technically it's yeah it's not it's better than the Earthrise mold I will say that the transformation is uh, more intuitive uh, more fun. I like the way the head uh, disconnects and then flips and then the way that the Same thing for the back, you know, the lower back is gonna, you know, stretch out and then I think it It's a better transformation uh, 
but it's she's a still a huge shelf warmer. I today I almost picked up uh, the Cyberverse version, so I looked at her and I thought she had less of a backpack and that panels would be part of her leg and stuff like that. But I was wrong. She's still a shelf former, so I left it there. I don't need another RC. But she, man, I can't, this is, you know, the hand will go into these slots, but these slots are not, like, I wish you could push them down, down a little more. Uh, because there's a hole here, and there's a pin here. And I thought for the longest time that you could get this hole into the, you know, this pin into this hole. But the hand, the way it's done, there you don't have enough room. It doesn't go further enough because there's that little hole here that creates a, a blockage. So if that wouldn't be here, which is completely useless if you think about it, if this was gone and it was flat, that'd be a bigger hole and that whole hand could fit in there. So and it, so the, the elbow wouldn't show as much in car mode. So maybe I'm doing it wrong though, but so please, you know, there's my email in my uh, about this uh, description of the YouTube channel. And uh, so if I'm doing it wrong, please email me and show me how your transformation is. Send me a picture. So anyway, um, yeah, I mean, that's, uh, but from the front, I mean, big gaps here. Like how do you not do something to fix that? That's just weird. Uh, but the seat, the dashboard, molded, looks really good. She has seats. You know, you guys, I, I've been saying it for a while, we need to see seats. And uh, so that's that's a great addition. Uh, the fin here is removable, but it plugs way better than the Earthrise uh, version. It's uh, on a triple, uh, like, you know, little clip on. So that's really good. It's uh, fairly solid. Uh, I like the front hand. She's more slick. She rolls, but I think that the the, the foot here, um, yeah, they, 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 they prevent a, uh, you know, she has balance uh, issues. A balance, but you know, the wheels don't really touch the ground, so. But still, looks good. Again, it might be a mistransformation, but I'm pretty sure I got it right. So, yeah, she doesn't roll that well, uh, but she looks really good. I mean, she does. She's a good car, good representation. And, oh, there's always, uh, you, know, all, you can plug the gun here, but I think that's even more undignified, the way it's uh, plugged here. I don't know. I don't know. I like the, uh, the looks of it. I think the transformation is better, but overall, maybe the paint comes in a little flat. Like it's shiny, it's glossy. You have the Autobot logo. You have some pink on red, uh, on uh, pink on white, or white on pink. And I think that uh, Toy Hacks is going to do something fantastic with that. So she doesn't have that many molds. I mean the seats, yes, but then anything else is just lines. And you have a little bit of details here in the back. And you have that big butt sticking out. Anyway, I'm not as impressed as I thought I was going to be because the product shots never show you all those little uh, gap. But I think I like her better. I do. She, she, she's a, I think, a more uh, uh, accurate representation of RC. And now let's do some uh, size comparison with alt mode. So let's go with uh, Origin Bumblebee uh, from the Buzzworthy line. And he's been toy hacks. You know, it's uh, some Cybertronian mode floats, some don't. Siege Ion Storm. And, uh, you know, some floats, some roll, some fly. And Studio Series 86 Sludge. And I think, uh, you know, that the scaling-wise, that's pretty good. So let me put her back in uh, robot mode and uh, we'll do my final thoughts. And you'll need a gunner! And here is my Femme Fatale's collection. So far, I have uh, Elite of One, the new mold from Legacy, coming up uh, soon. And uh, I think we need more female Decepticons. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, Earthrise RC, um, Power of the Primes, Moonracer, uh, Netflix and Lita 1, and then uh, Earthrise uh, Lifeline, and Siege Chromia, who's aiming for a shot. I'm still missing uh, Lancer, Green Light, Firestart, because I started collecting uh, after they sold out, I guess. And now they're uh, up to ridiculous prices. So. But now that they did a new Alita one, who's more G1, I'm hoping that they're gonna do these three uh, other ladies uh, in their uh, G1 uh, mold, rather than just repaints of Chromia or Moonracer and uh, RC. So 
So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.